The oxtail patty is a Jamaican beef patty that we cut open, throw some macaroni and cheese inside, I throw some oxtail on top, and I throw some oxtail gravy, wrap it in a cocoa bread, cut it in half, throw some more oxtail gravy on top of it. People love it. We're on this long ass line, it's about two hours. Mm. The first bite, everybody's so in love. It's something they've never tasted before. It's such a different taste. It doesn't matter the way in my mouth. My name is Joshua Dat. I'm 31 years old. I'm the owner of Dat's Deli in New York City, and my business brought in $165,000 in sales. It's really my dad's story that's speaking through the food. My dad came from Guyana at like six years old. He was basically in the kitchen where my grandma worked every day after school. He grew up in that kitchen and he was there his whole life. And I've seen him build empires for so many other people. They didn't value him. They promised him things and never fulfilled it. And me as a son, watching people do that to my father, somebody I look up to, I'm gonna do anything I could do to stop that. It was just in me like, nah, you're gonna stop doing this for other people and we're gonna do it for ourselves. And we're gonna do this together. I wanted to see a smile on the face while they eat it. Like, wow. I opened the store on December 9th, 2022. I saved up 70K altogether for the store. 60K went towards the sign over the lease to me and for all the equipment. 5K went to getting the different paperwork and getting the lawyers to file it for me. And then the next 5K went into stock basically to start up everything with the store. So I wanted to build it by myself. I just wanted my family with me when I did it finally. That's why I was so strict on saving my money. I didn't want no handouts. I wanted to get here by myself. So nobody could tell me they helped me get here. Everyone that works here is family or a very close friend. First of all, there's my amazing dad. He's the head chef. Then there's my uncle Tony. He's Mr. Do-It-All. Then there's my big brother Bobby. He's the co-owner. And then there's my little sister Jenny. She helps do the register and help make patties for everybody. Then my little nephew Malachi just started working with us and he's learning how to debone <laughs> oxtail right now. My friend Brandon, he does the dishes. Big sister Teresa, she flies in and comes help me whenever I need her to help. My beautiful mother, she's on the register and helping me get all the paperwork done for the store. Growing up, my mom and dad was divorced and she always used to tell me no matter what, you always have your brothers and sisters and you guys always love each other. We know no matter what, we gotta put our differences aside to succeed, to be better, to become better. We're not gonna let the past mess up what the future is gonna give to us. I love you. Family's the most important thing and family's gonna take you to the end. Like, look at where my family's taking us. I wouldn't be here without them. You hungry? Yeah, man, I haven't eaten in like two days. So right now we're about to go get some stock. My mom's taking me because I really don't like to drive. First I'm making patties in the morning, getting the stuff together, then I'm doing stock, and then I gotta clean up. Every month for ingredients for the store, we probably spend around 15K. So this receipt is for um, $1,289. And we only have 26 items. It's mostly oxtail. And now I'm about to go to the bank and get some singles and some change for the register. So my job is never done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I it's hard to come in because you know there's a line. So I see the line, I'm like, oh, I can't do the lines no more, man. But today we got lucky. It's the money. And at first we was only selling three to five Mac patties a day. I just kept promoting it on Instagram. And then an influencer came, he made a video, and ever since then, it's just been a wrap. <laughs> we went from selling four patties to 500 patties a day. I'm so sorry, but we don't do order for pick because you have to come join the line. This is real sweat, this is not fake. We stood outside for an hour for this. It's unbelievable, it's speechless. <laughs> it's very stressful. Right now, it's just keeping up with the demand because the demand is so high. And not anybody that opens up a store in six months has to deal with demand like this. Five oxtail. For me and my family to wrap our mind around this and make sure we're pumping out four to 500 patties every day and keeping up with the demand and keeping everybody happy, it's crazy. We still have the rest of our day to go. I am extremely tired. I work seven days, but I don't mind doing it. I do this for my, my children and I'm, 
I would love to see them winning. It doesn't bother me to be here all day. The first month, we only made around $8,000. The second month, $19,000. Third month, $30,000. In March, $64,000. In April, $170,000 in sales. May, we did $165,000 in sales. Everything stays the same flow as it's been going. We're predicted to make $1.2 million this year. I'm going to have to pay around $355,000 in taxes, if that is the case. So you know what they say, more money, more problems. It feels good to know that what I've been working for my whole life and that security that I wanted for my family is actually going to be here. I have a lot more work to do because I want to make sure all my brothers and sisters are okay before I even put my fingers down. My father, he's seen so many businesses because he built so many other people up and he's like, I've never seen it, something become so successful so fast ever. And and I told him it's because it's your turn now. Dad. Bobby, don't work for We just store like 20 to 30 cases of the macaroni in here. We just pull them out and bake them throughout the day. So we just don't never run out of macaroni. My dad just makes a bunch. We keep it in here and then we just throw it in the oven. 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 Same thing with the oxtail. We cook the oxtail, we peel, put it over there. I wanted to be different. I wanted to give people something new to try, something new to come to. We're gonna let all of you, like, we're gonna start letting taking in the next order, okay? So in like 10, 15, we're gonna start taking more orders. Yeah, the patty's gonna be out at 15, and then we're gonna start resuming orders after that. All the patty's gonna be out at 15? Yeah. Everyone should be able to take care of, as long as everybody take a two, three, you know what I'm saying? Stick to what you believe in, and don't be afraid to be different. Think outside the box, just keep working every day towards what you want. We're gonna be out here for a little while. 15 minutes and then we're resuming orders. Copy. Don't ever give up, because it's easy to give up. It's hard to wake up every day and keep going. Usually the harder option is the option that's gonna get you where you need to go in life. So just don't give up on yourself and keep pushing. No matter how hard it is, no matter how much nose you get, just keep going.